Boom! What's up, everybody? My name is Kim Scottwell, and today we're inside of the Pass Mask AI, and we're gonna do the same tree cutout as we did with Affinity Photo last week, and we're gonna see if a Mask AI can uh, do short work of this, or if it's gonna be sort of the same result as the Affinity Photo one. Uh, I got a pretty good feeling about this, but we'll see at the end when we put uh, a green screen behind here. So uh, if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comments down below. I really appreciate it, and it helps my channel out a whole lot. So uh, we'll just get to it. We are inside a mask AI here still, and I'm gonna do this auto detect sky button again. We're gonna see what it does, and you can see it did a really good job picking out the tree. But I'm gonna just take out this, and we're gonna take in all these uh, other things here. I'm just gonna mask up here. Pretty much just make the brush really big and go over most of this. And then we'll see what happens. Okay. That looks to be roughly all the spots I can see now, except for that one. So now I'm going to use the red one here, and I'm just going to make sure we take out this tree. And I'm just going to follow it at the bottom here. We can cut it off there and there. So I'm gonna just go like that. And then take this one out. Okay, cool. So I'll see one more thing here, right there. Uh, now we just hit Compute Mask and we'll see what it does. That's that's really good. You can see there's some stuff here. We're just gonna go into a uh, hundred percent view, and we're just gonna go over that area again. That took care of that. See, there is still a little bit of stuff going on here, so I'm just gonna mask that out again. Have a take a closer look. That worked, and uh, this is really clean, guys. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the best result. And it took what 30 seconds to get to this result here. There's a little bit there, we're just gonna go over and have it recalculate. And there is some too. Oh. So we're just going to make the brush a little bit smaller and go in between there. Nope, oh, it keeps taking out that thing. So we, I'm going to go in here and do that one. And I'm just going to paint over this tree limb here. So it's this here. There we go. I'm gonna paint over that one too, like so. Okay. So I'm gonna get us back to fit view here. I'm gonna go over here to uh, background and we can just go to color. Now we can see we have some more stuff in there. So that's a really good way to get a look at it. So I'm just going to get my blue here, and then I'm going to just go over, there we go, go up in there. Oh, there is some more stuff down here. That's pretty good. And 
I see there's some stuff up here as well. Okay. This looks fantastic to be honest. If there's something right there, we're just gonna see what that is. Okay, and I'm gonna try that again. Because we're still not on a whole lot of time here. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna go up here. And we're gonna go down there. You can see there is some more stuff right here. It just takes a couple more tries probably and we'll get rid of that. And then we go in here. So we're just gonna go back up here and check out this stuff here. There we go. And we have a little bit more up in this corner here. So that looks pretty darn good. If we now to go back here to backgrounds and we change the color, I can move this over here so we can see here. Put it up to green. It's green. There's not a lot of color bleed on the, the tree itself. And it doesn't really matter which color you put back here, that's a really clean. Black is the only one that really reveals anything. So, there you have it. If you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave your comments down below. I want to know what you think about the Pass Mask AI. My personal opinion is by far the best result in the quickest amount of time.